this side i'm going to show you how to connect your fireflies uh, with the transcription service with your go high level account okay uh, i got a project assigned from my like one of my client and he has requested me to connect their fireflies zoom meetings with the go high level like what they needed like contact uh, with whenever they make a, a zoom call all the participants from the dead call uh, get sync inside their go high level crm either we need to create a contact or we need to update the transcriptions uh, within the go high level from the fireflies services okay so what i have done uh, like uh, i just made a inbound webhook from the go high level let me show you i just made a inbound webhook from the go high level okay and uh, I just got the response from the uh, fireflies it doesn't edit here okay so don't leave the video in between the it's not as simple like uh, just pasting the webhook and you will get it as it is okay once you create the inbound webhook you just need to put it here and you have to save it okay after saving the button uh, you uh, once the meeting is is going to trigger out will output will be showing you look like this okay it will be the meeting id don't confuse with the meeting id and the transcription id if you see their api okay meeting id is the same like the transcription id okay this is the meeting id transcription id we are going to use inside their graphql api to get the transcription and our trans uh, our attendees okay so when we have uh, this one okay we need to get the transcript we will call it a, uh, within the go high level we will make a custom webhook okay uh, because we need to get the data from the uh, from the api okay so we what we have done is like uh, we we call the custom webhook function from the go high level so get uh, firefly transfer has just given the name method post i have called their base api endpoint authorization bearer this is your api key okay you can change it later i will i will recite it obviously it's exposed to the public but don't use this one okay uh, and this is the query okay i will post this query inside the job description that you can uh, use as it is okay and inside the custom variable if you see it i just use the inbound webhook and the meeting id from the previous step that we got the initially make sure you save this step response for on this webhook so that you can use the response from the webhook for the further step okay after you uh, save it as we all know within the go high level workflow only one contact can be created within one uh, within one flow so i had to create a custom code that will call the another webhook within the uh, go high level in order to create the new contacts if you have the more than the mo uh, one uh, participants uh, like uh, in within the flow okay and uh, this is the meeting id like meeting attendees we are getting the first index uh, attendee okay and from we made the condition here like if email is exists within our database or not if email is existed then we are just saving the notes from the transcriptions okay and if con meeting is not uh, existed uh, sorry contact is not existed we are going to create the contact first then we are going to add the notes to the contact okay the webhook that i was talking about i just create a contact from the participants i just made a inbound webhook okay and this was uh, their internal response okay and from the contact action i just made a inbound dot webhook request email if you same logic that i have applied on the earlier webhook okay and that's it we integrated very well with the uh, workflow yeah thank you if you have any question you can ask me anytime okay bye now